Underground Logic. Um, I'm Ryan Ocetic Sai. Um, guys call me Jose. And I'm the art director of Underground Logic, animation director, visual effects supervisor. And I've been there for eight years already. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about, I'm going to represent Underground Logic today. And Underground Logic, they, sometimes um, people are in our industry, they call us UGL for short. But I'd rather keep repeating Underground Logic so we'll remember. So underground logic, at underground logic, um, we do magic, and that's what we're gonna, it's gonna, gonna talk about today. So just remember that. Okay, for 45 minutes, I'll try to go through a brief history of what we've gone through over the past years, and I'll show you, of course, our latest performance, what we have been doing recently, and of course, if it's magic, we're gonna show you some of our magic tricks. Probably some of you know already, but it's still magic, so it's still fun to watch. And, of course, if there's magic, you can break the code, of course. And, lastly, if I have time, I can um, share a few magic tips. Okay, let's go first of a brief history. Underground Logic UGL has been here for about 10 years already. It started October 1999. So we celebrated our our 10th year anniversary last year until October. Okay, um, it, it started with, with two directors, two editors, and two artists back in 2000, uh, in 1999. I wasn't there yet. It started in a small basement in Makati. It's almost like an underground sewer, hence the logo. Um, mas graphic na yan before it used to be a real 3D rendition of the manhole. I couldn't find the file so just have the graphic. So we started as a, when we started, when we got into the game of post production, we were just a, the alternative post house. They call us the ter alternative because they go to us for small, very small projects and we can say cheap ones as well. And so we got all that, and we we couldn't say no. We just keep on saying yeah. They could they just um, say yes to every project. And how how, how they do that? How finally they achieved it? Because they were using PC. When everything else, everyone else was using hardcore hardware, they started to do post. They started to do 3D. They they wanted to try if it's gonna work just using the PC. So so baba cost. It's to upgrade than the big machines. So they started mostly with editing, content graphics, and then sobrang rare na 3D animation. And 3D animation before was done like two or three months. That was a timetable. And the budget was really high, so most of the clients, they couldn't afford it. So very rare ang ng commercial sa 3D. And back then, I'll show you an example. This I, I got hold of our archive, and this is our real back, their real back in 1999. So I hope you won't laugh as you probably watch. Take note, 1999 guys, 1999. Don't expect too much. 